Hey guys, it is Kristen Shelby from Indie Hip Chick and today's video is going to be almost a one brand, I guess, tutorial, but it's mostly a review for the new Born This Way concealers. Um, I'll also be using the Born This Way foundation. Um, if you haven't heard, Jackie Ina partnered with Too Faced and created, I believe, nine new shades of foundation to exp expand their Born This Way line. And I really, really wanted to support her, but my color is actually one of the colors that was already there. So I'll still give her that plug because I love Jackie. But um, yeah, so we're gonna use the foundation and then try out the new concealers. And I have three different ones. One's my shade and then I have a lighter one for highlighting and a darker one for contouring because it's supposed to be like an all-in-one kind of deal. So we're gonna see how it holds up and that's pretty much it. We're just gonna get right on into it. Okay, so this is the Born This Way foundation. Like I said, my shade is an old one, but I'm gonna be using the shade Maple. So the first time I actually tried this foundation, it was, I don't know, some years ago, and I was the shade Mocha, I believe, which is one shade lighter than this one was before the new Jackie cut colors. And before we do that, I'm tripping, we're gonna use some primer. Um, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. And this, if you haven't used it before, is supposed to be a mattifying primer. And it's kind of weird, the consistency of it. It's kind of like almost gummy a little bit, um, but I like it. It has a good smell to it. So now we're gonna add the foundation and I'm gonna be using my Ambi Rose ARF2 brush. It's just a normal foundation brush. And it's kind of crazy because this shade is definitely darker than most of my foundations, but I feel like this is the best foundation match that I have, which I've gotten a little bit darker in the summer because I've been outside and on vacation and all that jazz. So I've been looking for a new foundation shade because my old ones are just not cutting it right now. <laughs> but this one is like perfect. I really love the coverage on this. Like I feel like it gives me a good amount of coverage without looking cakey. Like it still looks like skin. It still gives you that like youthful, glowy, radiant kind of look, um, but still covers up like all my acne scarring and that I have a lot of that on my cheeks as I'm sure you guys have seen. So it's nice that it'll give you the coverage, but still not be too cakey or look like you have on a ton of foundation. So usually I'll do my foundation with a brush and then I'll just go back over it real quickly with a beauty blender. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna kind of pat it everywhere and blend in and really press the product into my skin. So that is it for the foundation portion. So now we're gonna get into the real star of the show, which is the new concealers. So like I said, I bought three different shades. So I have one that is maple, so the same shade as my foundation that matches me really well. Then I have one that's a few shades lighter and one that's a few shades darker. So I'm gonna swatch those on my hand just so you can see what the colors look like and then I'll go into applying. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the lightest one. It is called Warm Sand and this is gonna be the shade I use for my highlight. And the next one is maple, which is the shade of foundation that I'm wearing. And then lastly, I am going to be contouring with the color Toffee, which is some real chocolate goodness, I love it. <laughs> so those are the three shades. Again, Warm Sand here, Maple here, and then Toffee here. So I don't really see any areas that I necessarily want to spot conceal, which is what I would do with the Maple, um, just to give myself a little more coverage if I saw it anywhere that I needed it. but. I don't really see anywhere that I wanna use it, so I'm probably not actually gonna use that one much in this video, uh, but I just wanted to say that I got it because that was actually the first one that I got, and I've actually used it as foundation like two or three different times just because it was such a good match and I hadn't gotten around to buying a new foundation, and I loved it. Like, it was flawless, which led me to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy the foundation too just because I'm a makeup addict and I felt like I needed it, so. <laughs> Um, so we are gonna go ahead and start concealing. So I will be using the color Warm Sand and I am just gonna pop that right under my eyes. And then along the side of my nose. And one thing I really like about this concealer is that it has a huge applicator, as you can tell. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape applicator 
but the concealer itself is definitely not um, as fast drying as Shape Tape and it gives you a, a nice like radiant finish as opposed to like the matter, well matte kind of finish of the Shape Tape. So then I just take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend that out. This is my first time using the highlight and contour shade and I really like the way this is looking. I feel like these concealers blend out so easily. Like if even if you're a beginner, I don't think you'll have trouble with it. I think a lot of times with the more mattifying um, concealers and products like that, sometimes it can be kind of hard to blend them out and you can get um, like harsh lines or it can look kind of splotchy if you don't blend it quick enough but I feel like this one is very, very like smooth and silky and easy to blend. I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna set my under eye and then move on to contouring. So to set my under eye, I am going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder. And all the Too Faced powders have like this little cover on the powder itself so the powder doesn't like come out uh, when you're traveling or whatever which is kind of okay, but kind of annoying to me because then it makes it harder to get it out. So I usually like close it just a little bit and then put the lid back on and kind of shake it up so some powder will come out. And then I just dip my beauty blender directly into that and pop that under my eye. And if you don't have any of the Peach Perfect line, um, all of it smells like peach. They all have a scent to it. So if you like that, then okay. If not, then this may not be the line for you. And this is gonna sound weird, but the powder also has a kind of a taste. And no, I'm not just eating powder, but like when I put it on, there's powder in the air and sometimes when I breathe it in, I can just taste it and it tastes sugary. So <laughs> that's kind of weird, but don't eat it, but I'm just saying, you might, if you get that, don't be surprised. Alrighty, so now we are going to go in with the contour. So like I said, I am using the shade Toffee to contour. And I wanna say it's maybe like, this, it's the second to last shade but I think maybe it's like three shades darker than mine. Somewhere in there, two or three. Now I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like this. I'm still not sure, I don't know. I usually go for more cool contour colors as opposed to like a true brown like this one. It's a little bit warmer than I typically go for, but we shall see. I think this will give me like a nice golden goddess bronze kind of look. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway, we'll see. Then I'm just gonna go in with that same beauty blender and blend it out. And I feel like this one blends really easily as well. Like I said, it's a lot easier to blend than like a shape tape or anything like that. Like I would never go in and do my whole face worth of contour and then try to go back in and blend it out because it just, it wouldn't work. It would be set in place and those lines would just be there. But this one, I feel like it gives you a little more leeway and a little more time to work with it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of contour on my chin and then on my nose. And then I feel like I want my cheeks to be a little bit more defined so I'm gonna go back in with that um, Peach Perfect setting powder and then just lightly line out my cheeks. Okay. 
Okay, so that's mostly it for my face. For setting spray, I am going to try <laughs> to use the Too Faced um, Peach Mist setting spray. Now, I have had some interesting moments with this. So you definitely have to shake this up before you use it. If you don't shake it up before you use it, then it'll go on wet, but when it dries, you'll see a bunch of little white spots all over your face. Um, they dry essentially to a powder, so you can buff it out and it'll be fine. You won't even be able to tell, but the first time it happened to me, I was like, oh my gosh, what is all over my face? What happened? Um, and then I feel like once I did shake it and it still left the stuff. So I don't know, we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens today. Shake it good. <laughs> Alrighty, so if you know me, you know I like to go in with my setting spray, but I think I'll take it kind of easy just cause I don't wanna risk all the white spots everywhere. Okay, so it looks good right now. So we'll give it a few minutes and see if I look speckled in a minute. But in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and do my lips. So for my lips, I'm gonna be using Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. And I'm gonna be using the color Lady Balls. <laughs> That's a funny name. And I really, really like these liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. I think I got it from Ulta during like a, I don't know what their sales called, but they were half off or something. So I got a couple of them and oh, I really like this formula. If you know me, you know I love a red lip. Ugh, it's like my favorite color, aside from like neutrals because I really like those too. But this lipstick, if you don't have it, you're missing out, you should go get it. Okay, so that is it for the makeup application portion of this video. So now for my thoughts on I guess the foundation and concealer. Um, like I said, the foundation I love. I really love the finish of it. I feel like it looks like my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey. Um, it just looks like skin. I still have some glow to myself. It's not like totally drying or anything like that, even with the mattifying primer underneath. Um, so yeah, it's kind of my skin, but better. Nice little flawless days. It gives you a good amount of coverage, which I really like. Cause like I said, I have some discoloration and acne scarring um especially on my cheeks here and i feel like it gives me a good amount of coverage for those but doesn't take away the look of it being like skin essentially um for the concealers i really like all three of them like i said i used the maple one as a foundation two or three times before i actually bought the foundation and i loved it for that it's supposed to be used for um concealing highlighting and retouching so i guess using it as a foundation would kind of be like retouching yeah i don't know whatever it works so hey i went with it um i like both of the shades for the highlighting and the contouring like i said i wasn't sure how i was going to feel about the contour because it's warmer than i normally would but i really like it i feel like it gives me a nice little bronzed kind of glow to my skin um and i really like the colors for those and overall, I think they're really, really good. They give me a good amount of coverage and I would say they're worth the money. The concealers go for $29 and then the foundation is $39, I believe. And I would definitely feel like they're worth the money. You're gonna get a lot of use out of it. You don't have to use a ton of products to go a long way. And yeah, you're gonna be flawless at the end of the day. So if it's up to me, this is definitely a go buy. Um, if you've used it or if you thought about using it, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you felt about it or why you would or wouldn't buy it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you turn on the post notifications because we have a lot of cool new videos that are coming up and you're not gonna wanna miss it. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.